Welcome to Cardinal Rewinds. I'm Gabby Gareca. And I'm Oscar De La Garza. Before we take a look at spring sports, we are going to begin with highlights from the February 26th basketball games against Texas A&M Kingsville. Both teams will not make it into the conference tournament and would end their seasons respectfully. Let's take a look at the highlights. In just a few minutes into the first half, Mora drives Strong to the paint for a layup. On the next play, Cook attempts a solid three from the top of the key to increase Cardinal lead. For the Javelinas, Garcia would answer back with a three from the left wing. Cook finds Mora a few plays later, and Mora performs a turnaround jumper for two. Another opportunity comes when Faf goes baseline and finds Whitehead for two. Solis will close the first half with a three from the right baseline. In the second half, Solis will kick it off with a wide open three. Cook will respond through the lane with a two-point pull-up in the paint. Garcia drives on a cardinal defender baseline for the reverse layup. Garcia will come back on the next possession and shoot a three. Whitehead responds with a turnaround jumper in the paint. Wallace will help secure the 20-point win for the Lady Cardinals with a layup off the glass. Lady Cardinals will close out their season with a win 77-57. Wallace led the way with a double-double, 23 points and 12 rebounds. The ladies would not come up with a winning record, but gain valuable experience with their young team this year in the Lone Star Conference. Honors were awarded and three ladies found themselves with LSC honors. Moore would earn second team all-conference and Wallace and Cook would come up with honorable mention. Congratulations to these women on a hard effort this season. The Cardinal men faced a tough schedule throughout the year and were just shy a few wins to earn themselves a ticket to the LSC tournament. Let's take a look at their season finale. Uma ties the game early on with a 15-foot jumper. Wallace responds with a jumper off the glass for the Javelinas. Hines ties the game with the three on the outside wing. On the inbound, Brooks pulls up a 10-foot jumper. Hines will get fouled off a good basket, go to the line for the end one, missed a shot, and Solomon a not contested hook back for two. Uma drives inside the paint for a 10-footer. Cardinals remain on fire as Robinson pulls up on baseline for a deuce. Cardinals with the lead in the second half start off great with a three from Stewart. Stewart again hits another three to create a bigger lead. Morris returns in the second half after some foul trouble and hits a three immediately. Roddy will maintain the lead with a wide open three. Morris assists Lovings down low for an off the glass shot. Lovings again gets another quick pass for Bucket off the glass. Uma attempts a three, misses, and Johnson gets fouled on the putback. Morris will come up with a steal and go downtown for an easy layup. Wallace will back it up in the paint for a turnaround jumper. With a one point lead, Javelinas. Morris take it to the paint for a layup. It's good and he draws the foul. In the final moments, Morris snapped the game with 28 points as the Cardinals take a loss. Robinson would finish his last game with 17 points and nine rebounds in his final game in red and white. Robinson gave us his thoughts on the season. Uh, it started off pretty good, didn't end how we wanted it to end. Uh, all in all, it was a good season. Being our first year in Long Star Conference, uh, really don't have any bad complaints. Uh, they can only grow from, you know, from this season on, they can only get better, so wish for the best, that's all. What do you think the team needs to improve on in order to ensure a spot next year in the tournament? Uh, it's nothing really consistency, I say consistency, just being consistent. Uh, we started out so good earlier the season and we didn't stay consistent on the road, you know, winning road games, things of that sort. So just being consistent is something that, you know, needs to be worked on next year. Cardinals received their honors for the season. Robinson and Ume would finish with second team all-conference followed by Johnson's honorable mention. Congratulations guys on a job well done. The UIW synchronized swim team held their meet on February 19th and came up victorious after sweeping on the big day. Sydney Auvert has more on the competition. UIW held their synchronized swim meet on Saturday, February 19th, 2011 against Lindenwood University and Stanford University. UIW warming up before the routine starts and being pumped, the meet starts with the first category, trio routine. UIW team one consisting of Anna Nelson, Rosalind Tegar, and Emily Burkhart, ending with a score of 83.167, 100 being the highest, placing them in third. UIW team two of the trio routine consisted Molly Knight, Brianna Rodrichuk, and Monica Tomzak, ending their performance with a point higher of 84.167 leaving them in first place. 
Going into the duet routines, UIW duo Emily Burkhart and Saki Fusier completed with the score of 83.667, leaving them at third place. After the second 10 minute break was the solo routines with two of our UIW students, Anna Nelson, ending with 84.833 at fourth place, and Saki Fusier with 87.333 leading in first. Finally, the last routine round consisted of the whole team, UIW separating into two groups. Team 1 ended their score with 83.333 in 4th place and Team 2 with 87.500 in 2nd. In the end, UIW finishes with the final score of 82.0, leading to victory of 1st place overall. Reporting for Cardinal Rewind, this is Sydney Auvert. Cardinal Rewind correspondent Gabriela Bosques was on site at Palo Alto College as the university's swimming and diving team competed at nationals. Let's take a look. The swimming and diving nationals were held for the first time this year at Palo Alto College. Schools from all over the country gathered to San Antonio with their best swimmers at hand to compete for the gold. UIW swimmers prepped all year long for the huge event. Throughout the year, the team does a lot of things to prepare ourselves for nationals. We do a lot of shorter practices and longer practices, and we do a lot of strength and conditioning. Alex Yotsko participated in several relays to help secure a 10-seat ranking in the men's division. Uh, you know, we've done a lot of work during the season. It's been hard practices, so basically what you practice for, you get during nationals. I, I still believe 10th place, it's it's pretty high position. Uh, me personally, I'm glad, and the uh, head coach, we. We really appreciate what we've done throughout the year. Casey Hurrell Zitterman led Lady Cardinals this year, winning four gold medals in the 1650, 1000, and 500 freestyle, and also the 400 individual medley, four consecutive nights. Tamaris Nascimento also won a 100 freestyle gold medal with a record of 49.37 seconds. Lady Cardinals finished sixth in the women's division, earning them recognition throughout the nation as one of the top teams to look out for. Reporting for Cardinal Rewinds, I'm Gabriela Bosques. For tonight's feature story, correspondent Mark Trevino scouted the Cardinal baseball team. This team has had great success this season and has a promising outcome. The UIW men's baseball team are off to a fast start in their first season in the Lone Star Conference, leading the LSC in wins. But the Cardinals know that a larger playing field brings tougher opponents. I mean, it's a lot better competition this year. Uh, we're in first place right now. Uh, haven't been playing our best, though. Uh, been playing a lot of, you know, under average teams and uh, just hoping to pick our game up and hopefully we got a lot of good competition coming up. Every team has a good bullpen, so you have to be ready to have at least five at bats, you know, a game. It's not just the three at bats off the starter and then the bullpen comes in and they're done, so that's the base difference. Whether it's hitting, fielding, or in Kirk Jawasko's case, pitching, the Cardinals know that they need to stick to their own game plan in order to be successful this season. I try not to worry too much about the other teams as much as I focus on what I need to do to get to win. That's, you know, throw strikes, keep the ball down, you know, let my defense make plays for me. So, With the baseball season in full swing, the Cardinals are ready for the new challenges that face them here in the Lone Star Conference. Reporting for Cardinal Rewind, I'm Mark Trevino. Thanks for tuning in to Cardinal Rewinds. If you have any comments or suggestions, please email us at UIWTV at UIWTX.edu. Tune in next time to Cardinal Rewind. I'm Oscar De La Garza. And I'm Gabby Greca, and we'll see you next time.